Hi everyone, so today I'm reviewing this uh, acid rain figure, um, the space scientist. Um, this is my first acid, acid rain figure. I was never a big fan of them, um, especially because of the weathering. I think they exaggerate a little bit and um, yeah, I, I think they, they exaggerated on this one as well, but uh, let's uh, I'll talk about it later starting with the package uh, the package is is nice it has a some cool graphic here um, it comes on this plastic box which I have to say uh, even the times is a little bit a waste of plastic uh, too much plastic in my opinion Okay, it protects the figure quite well, but I think it's too much, um, but okay. So uh, going now into detail into the figure, uh, the sculpt is nice, um, I have to say uh, it's, it's nice, but um, as I said, uh, I think it's too much, too much weathering here. Um, I mean, if we were talking about an astronaut that is in a moon or some planet or so, I can understand, but this is the white version. Um, so typically white astronauts are just uh, going into to space and, well, difficult to, for it to get this dirty. Uh, but yeah, that's what we have. So yeah, it comes with a removable helmet, uh, it comes with this backpack and it comes with this, this mechanical arms, let me just put it here, take out this mechanical arms which I, I really don't like them so much but, but okay. Um, Besides the, 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 the exaggeration on the weathering, I think it's a little bit too bulky uh, as well. Okay, he's an astronaut, but maybe I, I prefer if he wasn't this bulky. I also don't like here the joints on the elbow, although I understand that's the only way to give him some proper motion here. Uh, but okay. So articulation wise, yeah, you can uh, move his Head has a good, it has a double, I think, yeah. It has a basically double joint of on the neck, so this on the upper and then on the lower part. It has some movement here on the torso, actually quite some good movement. Here the arms, they, of course, because of this uh, astronaut suit, you cannot have so much range here. Uh, they added here the on the shoulder part some rotation and then uh, here some articulation on the elbow and uh, also uh, the pivot and the rotating uh, at the, the wrist nothing on the on the waist and then the the um, on the legs uh, you cannot open so much because of course uh, the Again, the, the scope prevents it. You can twist here on the thigh and then some, I believe it's dual, yeah, it's dual inch on the, on the knee and then, yeah, rotating and some pivot here on the feet. So yeah, articulation wise, it's, it's good. Um, I don't like this part here, um, but uh, I can understand why they did it. Um, just to to give him some motion, but my biggest complaint, or two of my biggest complaint, uh, are being too bulky, I think, um, and also the the paint sculpt, the paint apps. Uh, uh, I really don't like this. Is too much weathering. It exaggerate too much. That was what was throwing me off in some of the other acid drink figures and uh, no it's the same with with this one sadly um, 
Oops, this went out. Okay, now uh, the accessory is the helmet, the backpack, and this uh, gauntlets or whatever you want to to call them. Uh, I also don't like like it so much with with them, but uh, but okay. So yeah, so my biggest complaint, yeah, yeah, are these. And considering the price point, these these things are quite expensive. So um, having to deal with these topics is rather frustrating. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I think, as I said, articulation-wise, it's quite good. Just the rest throws me a little off. So uh, hope you like the review. Uh, don't take it for me. If you like the figure, buy it. Um, especially if you can grab it for a decent price um, thumbs up leave your comments and see you soon bye bye